where my livestock get their water, drinking the water from. You get water only when it's blowing wind they, to turn the, the windmill. They did a test on it. People came, came by to do the testing on the water. They're not coming back with uh, the result just directly to us. They may be taking it to the tribe, but it's not directly to the landowners. I'm a student at Northwestern University studying biomedical engineering and what we're working on here is we're entering the data given to us from the EPA and we're putting them into a, a website we can give to the Navajo as a tool for them to use in order to evaluate their waters based on the contamination of several elements such as uranium or lead. We were able to create maps that people will be able to you know easily look up in lots of different ways there you know, springs and wells and see what the risks are. This project is very important because it can also be used as an academic resource for students to learn uh, correlations between different metals and different concentrations of metals in different areas. My name is Franz Geiger and I am an associate professor in physical chemistry here at Northwestern University. Once you go beyond that data collection, and you make, in fact, data available, that is when you get uh, the true meaning of the data, and it becomes powerful. Everything excites me about this project. This is about social justice. This is about a direct connection between the science that's funded by the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy that I do, directly impacting people. This is kind of very new to me. Now, we have a uranium mine near our place. It's only like two miles away from where we live. And I'm wondering what our well is like. If it's safe for us to use, browse by location. Mama Valley area, yeah, click on that. Oh, here it is. That one there, let's read about tank. 8AI-3, that's the one next to our house.